Welcome back to Online Darts, everyone. Here we are. It is Grand Slam time. The 2022 Kazoo Grand Slam of Darts kicks off this Saturday at the Aldersley Ledger Village in Wolverhampton. Big, big movers and shakers here this year. Three of the four, last four from two years ago who are all defending money are not there. We'll come on to that in a second because it could have huge implications with the world rankings as they are defending so much money. Grand Slam used to be the cross code tournament. Those days are of course long gone, all internally within the PDC system. Look, there has been criticism of the Grand Slam. Does it need to freshen up? Is it time for a change? Let us know in the comments what you think. My personal opinion is it has lost a bit of spark, but I still love the tournament with the unique group stages format, but maybe it does need a spruce up in 2023, but time will tell. As we said, it is a new era for the Grand Slam. The two only ever presents in uh, James Wade and Gary Anderson are not there. James didn't come through the qualifier and Gary Anderson didn't even enter the qualifier. Answers on a postcode, the flying Scotsman will have his reasons. We just don't know them. Um, not sure he does, but he won't be here. So Ando, not there. And of course, it's a big, big few months for Gary Anderson. Also, Dimitri Vandenberg defending semi-final money from two years ago. Didn't make it through the qualifier. But the big one is Jose de Souza. The winner from two years ago will not have a chance of defending any of those ranking points because he's not here. The special one fell in the qualifier. Of course, he hasn't won anything to get a guaranteed spot here this year. So Jose de Souza will slip down those rankings. Just a matter of where he's going to end up after the slam. Between 15 and 15, 16, somewhere around that area. But of course, the Aldersley Leisure Village is the home of the world number one. The Iceman man, Gerwin Price, is the only man to win the Grand Slam there. Only lost two group games, and that was against Simon Whitlock and Martin Schindler. The Iceman's record, almost perfect in Aldersley. Let fingers crossed we're back at the Civic next year, the spiritual home of the Grand Slam. But time will tell. Fingers crossed. Uh, also, Raymond Van Barneveld came through that qualifier. RVB back on our screens so the Barney Army will be in full voice this year in Wolverhampton and of course the race for world number one is always something that's on the list can Peter right overhaul Gary and Price at the top time will tell now with our title sponsors or sorry with our sponsors uh, Boyle Sports we're going to look at the outright odds and MVG is the favourite at 7-2 to two. the Green Machine has already won the Premier League the World Grand Prix and the world match play this year. He's having a fabulous year as he returns to form and fitness and he could be hard to beat. However, if you're gonna get him, maybe early on in these short sprints, maybe his undoing, but I fully expect him to come through the group. He's in a tough little section, which we'll come on to shortly. Uh, Gathering price, four to one, and some may see that as value, being his record here is so good. Uh, look, he's the only man to win in Alders League. Can he do it again? Four to one is the price on him. The world champion, Peter Wright, seven to one as well. Look, Peter's highs are back being high, but there are little dips in the consistency, so maybe that's why he's out at seven. Uh, Johnny Clayton 10 to 1 right now the ferret missing a TV title from his resume in 2022 can he add the Grand Slam then we have bully boy Michael Smith at 12 to 1 he recently got to the final of the European Championships can he go one better and finally lift that elusive major for me it's only a matter of time it will happen then three players at 16 to 1 Rob Cross Damon Hetter and Luke Humphreys interesting times for those three well priced then an interesting one Josh Rock the young man is on everyone's lips right now he's 20 to 1 and we've seen him produce brilliance on the pro tour and he's backed up with a couple of very good TV performances as well took a special Michael Smith to beat him in Dortmund a few weeks ago 20 to 1 for him Ross Smith the European champion the man that went on to win that title 25 to 1 and if you fancy a little one for old time's sake Raymond Van Barneveld is 200 to 1 maybe worth some value there right we're going to look through the group stages now remember the top two from each group go through so group A is headed up by Gerwin Price, Dave Chisnell, Raymond Van Barneveld and Ted Everts. 
Uh, look, nothing against Ted, he's a phenomenal player, but he may be out of his depth in this group. The other three season pros that Chizzy is playing phenomenal darts right now. We've already spoken about Gallo and Price, his record there. Uh, who comes through that? I think Price, and then it's a race between Barney and Chizzy. Uh, form says Chizzy, but I'm going to etch towards Barney. I think he may just come through. Uh, group B, Danny Noppert, the UK Open champion. Simon Whitlock, Mensal Sulevich, and Christian Perez. Look, Again, Perez may be out of his depth a little bit here. Noppy is Mr. Consistent. Simon Whitlock, we haven't seen enough of him on TV this year. And Mensal Sudovic is, is starting to find his form again. Can the gentle get back to winning ways on TV? Look, I think Danny Noppet comes through this one, but it's who comes with him. I'm going to edge towards Simon Whitlock, but I can make a case for either of them. Uh, then Group C, Michael Smith, Joe Cullen, uh, Richie Edhouse and Lisa Ashton. Uh, look, I think the top two come through this. I think Ed Harris will give them moments, um, but I just think the top two's quality will come through. Michael Smith, Joe Cullen in that order. But look, Lisa's foot TV form not been the best, but we all know the Lancashire Row still has it in the locker. Can she produce it over these sprint formats? Time will tell. But an interesting group, but the top two as they are for me. Uh, group D is Rob Cross, Dirk Van Dyvenboda, Martin Schindler, and Adam Gaulas. Um, for me, again, three-horse race in this one. Uh, Cross, Van Dyvenboda and Schindler. And I think it will be the top two in the seedings. Dirk Van Dyvenboda has hit more 180s than anyone this year. An absolute machine. Uh, Rob Cross, when he's good, he's very good. But there, there are little dips in there. And Martin Schindler could punish them. But I think Cross and Van Dyvenboda come through this one. Group E, Snake Bite Peter Wright, Nathan Aspinall, Alan Souter and Fallon Sherrick. What a group this is. Uh, we all know Peter Wright is back to form since he's had his uh, gallstone operation. The world champion just slowly getting there. We're seeing those big, big averages from again. He's going to be a danger. Nathan Aspinall getting to a TV final as well. The ass back to his very best. Suits has been away. He's had a little bit of a tinker with his equipment and we are seeing those big ton plus averages. And it'll be interesting to see how Fallon Sherrick bounces back from the disappointment of not reaching the world championships. So look, for me... I think it will be Aspinall and Wright who come through this one. I think Suits will run them close. But again, Fallon Sherrick lacking a bit of match practice for me at the moment. So Wright and Aspinall to come through Group E. Group F, Johnny Clayton, Damon Hetter, Jermaine Motamina and Leonard Gates. And I think it's safe to say there will be a miscount or two in this group. Um, Jermaine Motamina has returned to some form at the moment. He's playing really, really well again. Played brilliantly on the Pro Tours and to come through that qualifier. Uh, look, but Johnny is Johnny. Damon... I think we'll come through. Leonard Gates, it's all or nothing. His ceiling is up here, but there's no B game for me. If he can find his A game, he'll be a danger, but I'm not necessarily sure that happens. So Johnny and Damon to come through for me. Uh, Group G, Michael Van Gerwen, Ross Smith, Luke Woodhouse, and Nathan Rafferty. Um, Again, top two for me, fairly straightforward in this one. I see Michael top in the group, Ross Smith, on the crest of a wave after winning the European Championships will come through this for me. I think Rafferty could cause a bit of an upset, but again, Luke Woodhouse, what Luke Woodhouse is going to turn up. The A game is very, very good, but the B game is lacking. Not quite sure what we're going to get, so going for MVG and Ross Smith. And then the group of death, group H, ouch, ouch. Luke Humphreys, Ryan Searle, Josh Rock, and Scott Williams. Look, I can make a case for all of these to come through the group. I really can. Uh, Luke Humphreys, we've seen him say brilliant on TV recently at the European Championship Dortmund. He was outstanding. Uh, Ryan Searle refound some form in Dortmund. Josh Rock, again, just on everyone's lips right now. And Scott Williams, the maverick that has come through the Challenge Tour with the golden ticket this year. He was on a free run here. He really is. And look, this group is going to be brilliant. Luke Humphreys and Josh Rock come through this group for me. Comment below no matter what platform you're watching on this, whether it's YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, who's coming through the group? Let us know your winner and runner-up for all eight groups. And then look, from there it gets a little bit messy. I don't like the format from there, the way that you then play Whoever is in your group, potentially in the quarterfinals, nah, not, not for me. Um, you shouldn't be able to play who you played in the group till the final again. But that's another video for another time. Um, 
one thing left for me is here at Online Darts, we will be in Wolverhampton for all nine days. So make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel, turn notifications on. We will have you covered every angle of the Grand Slam of Darts. And if you haven't yet, all social media platforms, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and TikTok, as the rest of 2022 is really going to go down to the wire. The Slam, the Players' Championships, and the Worlds left of this season. Plenty to play for, and we will have you covered every step of the way. I've been Phil Bars, thanks for joining us and we will see you for day one in Wolverhampton at the Grand Slam.